so small now. Then this place used to be bigger. I'm sure these steps were bigger. This is A Block. A Block is where the science classrooms are. You can see the Bunsen burners and beakers and stuff in the windows. This is the building where I stopped Giuseppe Amato from setting fire to the building. You see, I think they've taken them away now. But on, they have these big long curtains hanging down. And unfortunately, the big long curtains were right where the Bunsen burners were. And I could see this Bunsen burner just singeing away at one of these curtains. Just begging to catch fire. And it was Giuseppe that had put it there. And I stopped a fire. S block, mathematics and science. But you know what S block really stands for? It stands for seniors. Because mathematics and science, this was not just maths and science. This was physics, chemistry, maths with calculus, maths with statistics. This, in fact, this very classroom here is the classroom that I failed six form physics twice, two years in a row. <laughs> I didn't pass the first time. So they said, you can try it again and, and you can do six form maths in seventh form. I didn't pass the second time. And this is the classroom where I sat my seventh form um, maths with statistics exam. And I failed it. It was a three hour exam and I got it um, done in two and a half hours because I didn't know half the answers. Sorry, but that's the truth. All right, it's time for a confession. This classroom here is where I got busted for dealing gunpowder. Okay, what do I really mean here? What I'm talking about is when you're like 13, 14 years old, sometimes, some kids, they get into making gunpowder because it's, it's the appeal of fireworks. And I had had a friend in Form 2 teach me how to make gunpowder. You know, it's charcoal, icing sugar, potassium nitrate, and sulfur. And I was making it. And I was making my own fireworks at home. And then I brought some to school. And I was showing it off. You know, it's like a, like a drug dealer showing off his drugs. You know, look at all the drugs I got for sale. <laughs> and <laughs> I, got, I got busted. And Miss Yogi, who was the, the head of department for third form, she, uh, she pulled me into her office and, it, and, it, and it's like, Jamie, I heard you've been dealing gunpowder at school. So I made up this bullshit story. And the bullshit story was that I was outside this classroom and that I had found the gunpowder in, in the jars out here and I didn't know who put them there or what they were doing there and I didn't know anything about gunpowder, just I found them. I wasn't dealing gunpowder. The truth is I wasn't dealing gunpowder anyway. I was making it for the purpose of making my own fireworks. I wasn't selling it or giving it away. It costs money to make it. <laughs> but I just want you to know, Miss Yogi, that I was full of shit. The truth was I did bring gunpowder to school. One last thing about this block, S block, was that it was notorious for litters, you know, aluminium cans being littered on the ground. Because we had a vending machine here. Okay, you see this kind of shed thing built out of stone, like on the corner here, and how it looks different from the rest of the building? That thing wasn't always there. What did used to be here was the vending machine. It was a coke machine. And we would get told off in assembly for vandalizing the machine. Um, people were doing crazy things like gluing a couple of two cent pieces together and, and chucking it in the machine and, and, and trying to get, trick the machine into thinking it was a two dollar coin. Uh, you know, and then the, 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 the two cent pieces with glue in them would come apart and get stuck inside the machine and, wait a minute, I did this. Sorry, Cashmere High. I'm one of the vandals. That's D-Block. Real bitch to climb up those stairs. That's three, three flights of stairs there. I don't know. It sounds like a lot, doesn't it? Yeah. It's, I, I should get some exercise. What the hell? International department. 
Are you crazy? That's the canteen! This is where the canteen was! This is supposed to be the canteen! Y you would rock up to the windows with your $2.50 or whatever you had. And you would buy a pie and a chocolate milk and a cream bun. Though they never had any healthy food. It was dreadfully unhealthy. But this is where you got your food! Why did you change it, Cashmere High? It's not supposed to be that way. This building is new. It's conductive education. Quite obviously where they teach physics. Oh no. No, no, no. No, damn it. <laughs> they took away the swimming pool. There's not supposed to be a field here, there's supposed to be a big swimming pool! You're ruining my childhood! That's supposed to be a swimming pool! Damn. Look, I get the fact that I'm hamming it up a little bit, but that's genuinely upsetting. That's supposed to be a swimming pool. I had so much fun in that swimming pool, now it's gone. That's the creek. Creek runs through the school from all the way around the back and then round through the front. When you're in science class, this is where you come and you throw the sodium uh, or the lithium uh, into the uh, water and watch it explode. That's pretty much all you do with the creek. It's there for exploding sodium. Well, some things never change. That's the pear tree, still making pears. And the pears are still on the ground because students don't like eating fruit. Nobody ate the pears 20 years ago. Nobody's eating the pears now, except for the bees and the wasps. I think I've had just about enough of this school for the moment. Please keep off this lawn. Well, let's just see about that, huh? We'll just see about that. How does that feel? What do you think about that? I don't have to conform to your rules. You've changed the place too much. I don't feel like obeying the rules. I didn't drone on and on and on too much. If you guys found my story as entertaining from this totally old school Easter episode, leave a comment in the comment box and I'll see you in the next video. Fuck authority, silent majority, raised by the system.